Carbonara originates from Rome, but you don't need to travel all the way there to have the best one. You could land at Tony's home, where we will challenge each other for the best recipe of... Carbonara! If you want to cook with us, get ready with the ingredients! Ciao a tutti! Today, it's challenge between me and my son. Let's see if the pupil will surpass the master. I'm pretty sure I'll surpass the master. Don't believe me? Watch until the end. If this is a challenge, we'll be needing a judge. Guess who? And watch at the end. Let's Next start! Time, I go first! Mom is attempting a revisited version of carbonara. The final look will be totally different from the usual carbonara images on Instagram. However, the ingredients are the same. Remove the egg white and use the egg yolk, one for each person. Add in parmigiano and pecorino until the egg becomes like a thick cream. Add in crushed pepper. We don't add salt because the guanciale and pecorino are already salty, just like my siblings when I get extra granita di caffè from mom to reward my editing job. Keep mixing the guanciale in and out of its fat. We do this to avoid it from burning and to make it extra crispy. When the pasta is still al dente, drain it and keep cooking it with the fat to give it more taste. Mom doesn't want to cook the eggs like in the traditional carbonara recipe. In her dish, they will be slightly uncooked. No worries, we pasteurize them, placing them on the hot steam of the pasta pot for a few minutes. Now we fix the texture of the eggs, adding hot pasta water that will make them creamy, not lumpy like when you scramble eggs. Remove the pasta from the pan. At its bottom, there is still some fat and starch. Add the eggs to thicken. Again, we don't want to have lumpy texture, so keep the burner off while doing this step. The eggs will become a bit more creamy. Add a piece of parmigiano, a piece of crunchy guanciale. Whoa, this dish looks outstanding. Let's see if Manu can beat this. Well done, Mom. It's my turn now. Mom, I think you're going to lose, especially because I'm going to be using your recipe of the classical carbonara you taught me a few days ago. The reason we actually call carbonara, carbonara is because in the end, you add so much pepper, it looks like charcoals. <laughs> I think Manu's guanciale won't be as crunchy as mom's, because it should be removed before putting the pasta in the pan and add it back later. It seems like he is in a disadvantage in this race. Everything sure is looking finger licking good. Oh, don't tell me Julia is the judge of this challenge. She is totally biased for mom. Poor Manu, he is going to lose. <laughs> Okay, Jess, so um, both of these pastas, mommy made one and I made one. You have to taste both of them and you have to say which one's better, okay? Is it yummy, Okay. Uh, okay. I'll taste this one. Unbelievable! Julia prefers Manu's dish? But uh, now I want to decide with the magna magna moment. Hmm, è buona, Giulia. 
È buona, mano, sei stato bravissimo. What can I say? I told you so, mom. Ah, well, wait a moment. Mine is the best. Which carbonara you like more? The Mai or the Mai San? Write in comment below. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe and push the bell. And don't forget that every, every day, day is, is a, a sunny day in Tony's home. Ciao! Ciao.